What's up squad, my name is ESO and welcome to this quick video guide where I'll be showing you the fastest way to get the unique legendary Nuka Cola power armor with this awesome Nuka Cola paint job. This fully painted set is going to give you a total of plus 3 agility when you're wearing it, which is insanely good guys. If you didn't know, agility gives you more speed when sneaking and it also gives you more action points to use in VATS. So wearing this suit will give you another 30 action points in VATS in total. So this is easily the best and most powerful power armor suit effect in the game for anybody who's using VATS. So there's actually an easy shortcut we can use in order to get this set that I'm about to show you. But you must first come here to the Nuka Cola bottling plant. It's located north from Nuka Town, all the way past Kitty Kingdom and you will find it just here on the map. Now if you look closely at the map, I'll be starting just here. It's important that you start next to this large lake outside the factory, as this is where we'll find the shortcut right next to it. Now do take care because once you arrive, there are going to be lots of quantum creatures, especially Mylurks that you have to battle around here. In particular, do take care of the Mylurk Queen that you'll find in that lake. I've already taken care of all the enemies at this location just to make this video easier for you guys to follow and, and faster for you all to watch and drop down on the other side of this wall. You can access a hidden entrance to the factory down here. It's also accessible from the other side, but doing this allows you to avoid that Mylurk Queen if you want to. And it's faster. Once inside though, head along the pipe tunnel. You will come to this hole in the wall on the left. Once you exit, turn right and you will see a staircase heading upwards. Take this to the next floor where we'll find another door. So head through this door and down this very long corridor. Take the next left and go straight on. Head through this next room which is kind of blue and you'll see a door right ahead. Once here you will find a control terminal. The terminal is advanced, so if you don't have the correct perks for hacking it, just use one of your followers like Nick Valentine or even a robot follower will do fine. So we can now access this terminal and there's an option here to unlock a security gate. So make sure you do that. But where is the security gate, you ask? Well, head back the way you came. Guys, this is where we but this time, we're going to go down these steps. And then go through the hole in the wall to the right. And then turn left. You'll now see the open security gate. Just take care of this bewitched flying Mylurk. And you can now claim the unique power armor for yourself. And by the way guys, while you're here, you're also going to want to grab the Nuka Cola Quantum because you can get a whole stash of them. And why wouldn't you want that? So from the cage we got the power armor in, just retrace your steps back to the control room. The power armor that we're wearing currently was actually part of a marketing scheme where Nuka Cola would use the power armor to help sell their product. The Vim company actually also did the same thing with their own branding too. And you can get their paint scheme down below in the description if you're interested. So just come through this room and jump over the railing here. You will see a giant blue vat that was used to make Nuka Cola Quantum. And most importantly, you will find a total of 11 Nuka Cola Quantums scattered around here. There are even more in this location, but you might as well just pick these up because they're right next to each other. I should also mention though that rather annoyingly, this power armor paint job is 100% unique. So you cannot put it on another suit of armor. The power armor itself though is a fully upgraded T-51F set. What this means is that it's the best possible version of the T-51 power armor you can craft. The advantage here of course is that you don't need to craft it yourself. It's already fully upgraded. In total you have an armor rating of 1340 physical damage resistance and 1090 energy resistance. And finally a radiation resistance of 1050. So it's pretty damn tough to say the least. But we can also add on the usual modifications. And there are definitely a few I'm going to suggest to you to maximize the increased action points we get from this armor. Firstly, on the helmet, grab the VATS matrix overlay. This increases your chance to hit in VATS. So none of those action points will ever go to waste. 
On the other hand though, if you're a melee character, that's not going to be very useful to you. So instead, I would probably just get the sensor array. I'm also going to grab the bright headlamp too. So for both of the arms, you're going to want to get the optimized braces. This obviously only affects melee weapons, but it's so good. It actually complements the weapon build I recently did that shows you how to get over 40,000 damage with your melee weapon. I'll leave a link on how to do that down below in the description if you want to see it for yourself. Next up, let's mod the torso. This is really a personal preference because there's quite a few good mods here, but if you're a melee character, I would suggest going for the motion assist servo, which gives you plus two to strength, which is the same as plus 20% melee damage. But I'll be getting the jetpack, as with more action points we get to fly for longer. And who doesn't want to fly for longer? And lastly we have the legs. Now in my opinion the best choice here is hands down is the increased action point regeneration speed while moving. Just put this on both legs and your action points will regenerate even faster. And there you have it, the awesome looking Nuka Cola armor modified to the nines to make best use of its legendary effect. And guys, if you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up to show your appreciation. And if you want to collect the rest of the Nuka World swag, like the unique spacesuit and weapon, do check out the other unique items down below in the description. And you can also stay up to date with the channel by subscribing and also following me on Facebook, Twitter and even Instagram to stay up to date with all the projects I'm working on and so you never miss a Fallout 4 video guide. All of those links can be found below guys, but thank you very much for watching. My name is ESO and I will see you, loyal subscriber, in the next Fallout 4 video guide. Have a lovely day and goodbye.